Here in DaVinci Resolve, we can copy and paste attributes, so that way we don't have to redo work that we've already done. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we would do that. So we'll select this clip right here, all right? Now, as you can see, both of these clips are at about the same zoom level, as you can see. But let's say on this clip here, let's come to the inspector, and we'll keep this very simple uh, for, right, uh, for right now. So let's just say we want to zoom in on her a bit to scale her up just a bit right there. All right, looks good. We play through that. All right, goes back to the, goes to the next clip. And of course, it's at a different, uh, different zoom level. So if we want that same exact zoom level in this case, on this clip right here, obviously we could open up the inspector and mess around with that, but an easier way would be to copy the attributes of this clip and paste them into this clip. So we'll select this clip and we can right click and choose copy or easier way, control C or command C on Mac. Then we'll select this clip and we can right click and choose paste attributes or use the shortcut alt V. So as we know, the standard shortcut for pasting is control V, but we want to paste the attributes. So that will be alt V. In my case, I'll just click it right there. Then we get this dialogue window and we can choose exactly what it is that we want to copy over what attributes. Okay. So we can just select everything in this case and it would be fine. Or we could select just what we want. So in our case, we just want zoom or we could do everything. It actually wouldn't make any difference here since zoom is the only thing we uh, have applied there. So let's just select zoom, choose apply and boom. There we go. We can check the inspector and see it's exactly uh, 1.41 over here. We can see exactly 1.41. So now you watch this back. And she's at the same exact zoom level. All right, so let's get a little bit more advanced now. So on this clip right here, you can see it slides into place. And I did that by adding keyframes, which we went over an introduction to keyframing in a previous video, all right? We just did that, of course, by coming to the inspector and putting those keyframes in. And then when we come to this clip right here, you see, I actually want that to slide in the exact same way. So let's do the same exact thing. This time I'll just hit control C because I am on windows. I'll select my other clip. I'll just press alt V brings up my paste attributes window. And in this case, let's just select everything. Although technically we only need the position, but we'll just do everything. Doesn't matter. Boom. Guess what, man? So now back to the first clip slides in. Awesome. Come down to the next clip slides in exactly the same. So we don't have to redo that animation. And if we expose our keyframes, you can see they are exactly the same. On to another example now. So in this clip, she's running in kind of slow motion there. And I wanna see this in sort of normal motion. So let's go ahead and right click here. And we're gonna do change clip speed. And I just want this to be on 300. Now I can ripple the sequence, which just means everything is gonna slide down, okay? If I hit change, you can see everything doesn't slide down. Control Z out of that, right click, uh, change our uh, clip speed, 300. If I do ripple sequence, everything will slide down, okay? Bada bang. So now let's watch this. So now she's running at pretty much normal speed, right? So down here, we have another clip of her. Again, in slow motion, nothing wrong with that. But let's say we want the same exact speed on her as we have in this clip right here. Again, all we need to do is copy and paste those attributes. But before I do that, let's, uh, let's do this here. Let's say we also zoom up on her here. Bada bing, looks great. Okay, so now I just wanna copy just my speed change and that's it to this clip here. So again, let's do it again. Uh, Control C, come down here. We can right click or you can use Alt V. Paste our attributes. Now this time, because we don't want the zoom, make sure we're not gonna do everything. If we do everything, bada bing, you can see it zoomed way in on her. Okay, we didn't want that, Control Z. Let's do this again. Paste the attributes, not everything. This time we just want our 
retime effects. And in this case, I actually don't want to ripple that sequence because I don't want this, uh, these clips here to, to ripple down. So just choose apply and there we go, man. Same exact speed as you can see. And we can zoom in here, by the way, let me double click there. And you can see down here 300% and let's come down to this clip here. Make sure we expose this here and it's at 300%. All right. So we just copied our speed change and not the zoom uh, for this clip here. Let's do it again with something a little bit, uh, a little bit different this time. So now we have this fire clip over top of this uh, other clip right here. All right. And I want to see through this fire clip. So I'll come up here to my inspector and change my composite mode to either lighten or screen. We'll do screen. There we go. Looks pretty cool. You can see that there. All right. So then down here we have this stake and let's say I come back to my bin. I'll grab a fire clip, put it right on top of that. And now I can just copy my composite mode from this clip. So control C over here, select it, Alt V. And all I really need to copy is my composite mode. I could do everything, but I just need my composite. Bada bing. And as you can see right there, let me trim this up actually. Right there, same exact composite mode. As you can see up here, it's on screen. Over here, this one here is on screen. Of course, you can do this with uh, more than just one, uh, you know, one parameter change as well. But there we go. Have that copied. Looks good. Looks pretty cool. Now, what if I want to remove attributes, right? So at the beginning, we zoomed in on her here and we copied that over to this clip here. What if I say I don't want that? Actually, I want her back where she was. Well, an easy way to do that would be to right click and just come up here to where it says remove attributes. Then I can select exactly what I want to remove. So we'll just say everything. It could just be the zoom uh, in this case, but we'll just do everything apply. And there we go. She's back to where she was. Cool. And same thing for our clip up here. What if I decide that I actually want her running in slow motion here? Well, let's do this one right here, because on this one here, you remember we have her zoomed in a bit, right? So I actually want her to run in her slow motion here, but I want to keep my zoom level. So I'll just right click, I'll remove attributes, turn all of that off. And I just want to remove the retime. I'll make sure I ripple that. So all the clips slide down, choose apply. And there we go. So we still have the zoom on her. We didn't remove that. As you can see, it's still there, but now she's going to run in slow motion. We can also copy and paste attributes from audio, not just video. So for example, if I were to pull my clip gain down to the level that I want for my music, and we'll just say, we like that there. Obviously this here is going to be too loud, way too loud. So instead of trying to get it just right, I can again, control C to copy that right there, select this alt V and right here, our audio attributes right there, just select whatever you want, apply. And then we have the same exact attributes applied to both of our audio clips and not just our video. Pretty cool. But of course, that's not all we can do. We can also paste our effect settings. So let's head over here to an effect. We'll grab, say, abstraction and throw it right on our model here. Open up our inspector, make whatever changes that we want over here and open effects. And we'll just pull this up, make it look kind of cool. And pull up our edge strength a bit. Okay, so that looks uh, that looks pretty cool. Then we have another clip right here. And let's say we want that same exact effect on this clip. Same exact thing. Control C, Command C on Mac. Then we can do Alt V or of course right click and just paste our attributes. In this case, we can just do everything, uh, but we could also just choose our say plugins if we wanted to and apply that and boom, that same exact effect in the same exact settings are applied for us as you can see right over here. Same exact settings there. Play that back. Okay. Now there are other ways to affect a bunch of clips besides copying our settings from clip to clip. One of those would be 
using adjustment clips, or of course we can affect multiple clips at the same time, but that will be for a different video. So that again is how you can copy and paste or remove attributes from clip to clip here in DaVinci Resolve. Oh.